All right, welcome to Nyberg County in Lusk, Wyoming. My name is Erin Pershey, and I'm going to share with you um, some Instapot tips and tricks today. Um, Instapot and pressure cooking really wasn't ever my thing, or even on my list of wedding gifts that I really wanted. And I received one um, for my wedding shower, and we've really enjoyed it this last year. And I love it um, because I drive 80 miles one way to work. So when I get home at night, um, it's six o'clock and we need to have supper on the table so that we can get a few things done and go on again for the next day. And um, despite my best efforts of meal planning, I still don't manage to get everything out and ready to go um, beforehand. So a lot of nights I get home and I have frozen chicken breast or frozen hamburger and I need a quick easy meal. So the Instapot does that and we have really enjoyed it. So the fun thing about an Instapot is it is really fast cook times. So I can take that frozen chicken breast from frozen solid out of the deep freeze to ready to put on a plate in about 20 minutes with pressurizing time, cook time, and going from there. So when you get an Instapot, you're gonna get your base. So has your power, um, cool little inside, and um, the, the bottom piece is spring-loaded, which is part of its cooking mechanism. Um, this is the condensation tray, and then there is a little um, cup that catches the condensation if you have some and then you get your inner pot which just slides right in there um, and then mine came with two seals and most all of them will so you have a savory and a sweet because you have just a little bit of mine smells like chicken noodle soup because that's what we cooked last in it um, and then a colored one so we've always used the the clear one for savory and the red for sweet. Um, and then you have the lid. So the seal fits into your lid and it just slides in around the, the ring that's in there very easily. And then you have um, the little float valve and I don't know if we want to zoom in. Um, on this so we have our float valve um our release valve and let me make sure i tell you the official name for um but this is like just the steam valve um and it kind of wiggles so and then it very easily just if i get it on here I'm standing behind it, which is odd. And then it just locks into place. So very simple to, to utilize like that. Um, it also comes with a little rack that fits just right in here. And we're actually going to utilize that in one of our recipes. I received a fun little cake pan. Um, to go with my Instapot for Christmas this year. And then this is just your sling. So you use this with your cake pan because um, it needs to sit on the rack. And then to get it in there, um, you just use, either has to sit on the rack or you have to use your sling um, to utilize it. So just very simple um, kind of introduction to the pieces and parts of what comes in your Instapot. So with that, um, you also get, of course, your instruction manuals, which are really important to knowing how to use all of the functions and how to cook with the Instapot. Um, the best thing that comes with it is your cooking timetables. So it tells you if we're cooking large whole potatoes, we're cooking them for 12 to 15 minutes versus baking them in the oven for an hour to have baked potatoes. Um, you can do broccoli, like fresh or frozen broccoli in one to two minutes of pressure time. So um, really handy to have. 
I didn't realize until today, until we got ready to do this, um, that Instapot, so mine is an actual Instant Pot. So if you go onto their website, they have some really great references for cooking times. Um, so I'm excited about those. And then the one thing is there's quick release and natural release. And we'll show you that as we do the recipes, um, but it definitely affects your cooking time. So you wanna know if you're supposed to allow the Instapot to have natural release or if you can go ahead and quick release that. So with that, we're gonna drag out some ingredients and we're gonna do some cooking. <laughs> 